Hey Legionnaires, welcome back. We're here with part 7 of our Venice campaign as we continue to conquer the Kingdom of Italy and unite it under one banner and bring it under the Venetian control. We are taking on the Holy Roman Empire once again. If you saw in the last part, the Holy Roman Empire was reborn at Bologna here and uh, we can't stand to have the fake emperor here. Uh, we... we I don't know. I guess we back the one in the the one in the east, the one we set up, the Latin Emperor instead. We want no other emperor but the Latin Emperor there. Um, so yes, we are going to destroy Bologna. Also, as you know, part of our mission, you know, to uh, conquer all of Italy, we're going to need Bologna. We're also at war with Milan as well, so we're going to need to go through Verona's land somehow. Either we go to war with them, um, which I'd rather not do. Um, or we uh, get military access, which I'd rather do. But, I mean, there's no rush to go and get Milan. Um, I guess we can use Verona as a buffer zone. They don't actually seem like they have an army. I don't know where their army is. Um, I don't think they're all... Oh, they are at war with Bohemia. So, likely, their army is in Bohemia. Um, there is also a, a Bologna army here. Um, so, that might come and threaten Venice. So, um, I mean, we might have to do something about that. I do have a small army here at Diracium that we could maybe shift north and maybe have to do is minus nine going minus eight so i might start shifting this army north to um deal with that issue uh bologna can't reach there this turn but they could reach the next turn um so we might need to get this fella moving we'll see if we can recruit just some stuff and um, it's gonna like cost one turn or something like that yeah like some lanciari that'll do hold that they can help hold the line against the massive stuff i mean they look like they got a lot of lights themselves through the bologna army so uh, it should be a fairly even match there but yes uh if you guys are enjoying this campaign and would like to see some more then do remember to leave a like subscribe if you're new around here and a comment to show your support it really does help out the channel as uh, we continue to work towards 10k subs and yeah we've got our priests coming down here to help convert roads i'd like to free up this uh duke or oh, the doge's army i should really call it and get him moving uh, westward again because our aims in the east are kind of over and um, the latins are no longer really under threat from the nicaeans they are under threat from the bulgarians but i feel like they can deal with a one front war on their own especially when they have the city of constantinople as uh, one of their uh, defenses they should be okay we'll end the turn and we'll see what happens in the end turn whether bologna will come south which i imagine they will um if we can take their city uh, next turn which hopefully we can then uh, they should start to starve, which also should, also should make the defense of uh, Venice much, much easier. Straight, oh, honest, that is not good. Is not Austria have ended their non-aggression with me. I think we're trading still. Um, but that is not good. Austria might be about to go to war with us. Which if that's the case, after Bologna, we might have to kind of focus on that, shifting our forces there. I mean, good thing we are sending that army from... Uh, Dirichium north then to try and uh, just kind of block off any northern encounters. Uh, oh, he did not come to Venice. Okay, well that is good for us, I guess. But uh, it's not what I expected. I thought he was going to maybe just go and besiege Venice because, I mean, by... Oh, and Serbia dissolved its trade with me. But I think that's because Serbia is no more. Yeah, that's a shame. Uh, we're making a whole bunch of money, though. We're still making six and uh, uh, six point... Uh, eight grand and Georgia and Nicaea have made peace. I didn't even realize they're at war. The mercenary demand, so um, yeah, the cost of them is higher for three turns. And we got some more recruitment on the way. Split, then upgrade some stuff. I am gonna try and do this increased slots, I think. Um, I'll give it a go, like either this turn or next turn. I don't like um, just trying to up uh, upgrade it. Oh, large port. It's pretty damn cool. We might need one of those. Um, we're gonna. Pers uh, I think we're gonna assault Bologna. Uh, it should be very easy. Like looking at the balance power, I'm not even gonna. That's a very easy order to resolve. There you go. Stab him in the neck. Can't even see the guy. He's just cut off from view. He got stabbed up there. That's easy enough. We're getting some nice upgrades on these guys. These crossbows getting a lot of chevrons. And we also have a catapult. I totally forgot we uh, built ourselves a catapult. And we are going to occupy as we needed for uh, our kingdom of Italy. And we will just repair everything. Yeah, large city. School? Um, I don't know. City gatehouse, I think I'll keep. Catholic priory? Sure, we'll keep that as well. Would I rather convert this to something else? I think I would. I think I'd rather convert this to something like a... Um, 
fairground or something. I don't know if I want any of these. Palazzo, distillery, bricklayers. I can't get many of those in. Or a market square, maybe. They are pretty useful, but the uh, does damage. Or a theatre troop, actually, would be pretty good. That's plus four. Plus, oh yeah, actually. Should we get a theatre troop going? Let's do that. Uh, actually, let's just leave it like that then, and we'll just save the money, and we'll just convert it next turn. That's what we'll do. Um, saves us actually having to rebuild it up. Okay. Right. We can build a whole bunch of stuff here for this army if we wanted to, including Lanciari, uh, Comunali, which are basically the same as these guys. I think they are actually, stat-wise, exactly the same as those mercs that I've just got. So, yeah, these guys here. Um... Just that these guys cost a little bit more now to recruit because of uh, increased costs. Uh, I'm going to send this guy back to Venice for now. Uh, Dirichium should be able to hold on. Uh, it's actually minus 12. It might not be able to. Um, I'll just spend like two turns here. I think I might get some of these uh, heavier spears. The um, Escutai or whatever they're called there. Probably butchered that name, but we'll get some of those guys going. Um, can't get any crossbows, and money is kind of tight generally the rest of the way. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I mean, I can hear it right now in the background. I can just hear someone shredding trees. I don't know what is going on out there. I think there's um, some work going on outside my house. But yeah, it sounds like someone is shredding a, like, a massive tree or something. Or tree. But yeah, if you can hear it, I do apologize. But if not, it's a good sign. It's, it's good. It's just me that has to endure it. Um, but yeah... I don't know. Maybe we'll get some Lanciari commu Communale. Yeah, why not? Let's just get some more of those spears on the way. Spears, I feel like I feel like I don't want to get loads when it comes to um, like a, a multiplayer battle. But like in campaign, I feel like spears are always very handy. They hold the line pretty well. The AI is pretty pretty dumb when it comes to just its tactics. We're playing on hard, so uh, it's not like anything too strenuous. But you know, you expect the AI to you know be a bit more competent, but it's not. It's really not. But uh, we'll see whether anything... Uh, anything happens. Bologna, though, can't waste time. Actually, no, Bologna have another city, so we aren't, aren't even damaging them. I totally forget. Um, yeah, because of the Home Empire now, they actually hold um, Brunswick, I think, or whatever it's called. Um, Bologna's over there. I actually could do with making, ideally making peace with them. Yeah, so the, uh, the Holy Roman Empire still hold a Frankfurt. That's what they hold. Not, um, not, um, I've totally already forgotten what I was, what I said. Um, Brunswick, that's it. Brunswick's like up here somewhere. Yeah, Breunschwig. Uh, it'd be up here somewhere. Um, but anyway, let's you see if we can make welcome, peace. Yes, they would. Oh, perfect. So I don't want waste to time. continue war with them, really, ideally. They're at war with Hungary as well. So they don't really want war with me, I don't think, either. Uh, right, there we go. There we go. 1,800 out of them and peace. I'll take that over any day. Right, Bologna. Um, we can convert this to a theater troop, which is what I do because this helps with a, a research, which is fine. I get a lot of money from it, in fairness. But I get more money from this and state religion and I get public order. It's actually just all a better deal. Uh, this guy's got an upgrade as well. So uh, I think we'll do integrity because why not? Um, what's his integrity now looking like? Change for turn plus six. Brilliant. And let's do morale when um, command is attacking. And then do we declare war on Verona? Or do we go... Just skip through and just go for Milan. And just take the uh, the negatives. Which I'm kind of tempted to do. Uh, I think I'm going to try and increase slots. I might just uh, pause the recording here. Just while... Um, I do it because I think it often sends it to desktop and well, we don't need that. So I'll see what happens um, So yeah, I'll, I'll see you guys in a moment. I'm just gonna send that That priest over there. Let's get him over to Rhodes. But yeah, I'll see you guys in a moment I'm gonna try and upgrade this because you know Venice make it three grand. We can try and get that higher easily so I'll see you guys soon So we are back and uh, yeah, as you can see um, It's uh, it was fine, I and mean, we got the growth that we need. Um, ideally, I would like a Leprosium here, so that's what I'm going to put in. Uh, all of them cost nine growth now, so it actually doesn't increase. So I'm going to put that in a Leprosium, um, and I'm also I'll just drop a save while we uh, while we wait just to see whether it works. So you guys can all, all see as well. I've saved it. So there you go, all saved. 
So, because sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. I don't really know, get it, uh, like the whole increased slot things. Um, but yeah, I don't know. We'll see if we can get military access with Verona. Because that will save us a problem. No. Do we have to Speak. pay you quite a lot of money? Because if that's so, then I will. A worthy investment to go and get Milan. Uh, I actually have literally no more money I can offer you, sir. Sorry. Uh, I don't think Verona probably like me, actually, anyway. Because we're probably, yeah, deteriorating because we're going to war with um, Milan. And also we've been at war with the HRE. And we're also a great power. Um, we're third in the world, actually, at the moment. Um, we are looking at pretty strong. I mean, look at that. We dominate the Adriatic now. We literally have nearly, bar like Verona's little bit there, we basically own the entirety of the Adriatic um, like coastline, which is pretty cool. Um, we are on good terms with a lot of people in the east, um, not so much in the west. Um, well, actually, I think we get on well with like the Spanish because we have some marriage ties. Your people's reputation um, goes before you. Non-aggression pact? No, they... Don't want any friends like that. Oh, and Navarre. In the name yeah. of the state, welcome. Can we trade? Speak as a friend or as an enemy, but do so. Um. All right. Can we not trade? Do you not have a port that we can trade with? Or maybe it's just because I don't know. I don't know. Why can't we trade? Should be able to. I thought unknown down here. Who the heck? Oh, the Almohads. Kind of hold it on though, you know. Unknown. Yeah, so there's someone else here. It must be like Portugal or I will do you the honor I don't know. of listening to your terms. Hoping Portugal or maybe um Aragon, be maybe? Welcome. Actually it's more like the Aragon. If you uh, I was hoping that I could maybe trade with the uh, Muslim uh, factions as well, but no, they're not interested. They're not interested in Money's money, it doesn't matter where it comes from. Upstyle boom. My salutations and the good already trading with them. Hungary, I don't think we can do anything in the name with of the state. Welcome. Yeah, we'll just leave you to it. Um Serbia, we are not able to trade with anymore, so it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, I guess we've got a whole bunch of money, just nothing to spend it on. Which is unusual. There's usually always something to spend it on. Um, but yeah, it doesn't seem like there is, so we'll just leave it and we'll move on. I guess we'll move on to the next turn, unless we can get some decent mercs, but no, we can't. Nothing exciting there. So I think the plan is, is I'm just going to go straight through Verona. I'm just going to Go straight on through. Actually, money could be spent on a spy or something. Do we have a spy available? Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to spend it on, like, going through and getting, um, like, I'm just going to go straight on through and just take the, uh, the hit on the, uh, the old happiness. Ah, we have a piazza here that we never built anything in. Okay. Oh, we're going to put a carnival grounds in here. That was it. Um, so we'll do that. I'll just save the money for that then. Uh, and Gremia, you are a governor. So we'll put in authority. And then we'll also put in inspired leader. There we go. I think it is into Venice as well. Yep. So that'll make them even happier. And happier people are more happy to pay their taxes. We request that and the Latins are just war. desperate for me to go to war with the Bulgarians. I could do it, but I am also a little worried that I could be going to war with Austria very shortly. And Austria are building up armies here. So we do need to keep an eye on that. Uh, as you can see, yeah, there's like, what, two armies in Graz, another one in Vienna. I don't know if Austria are at war with anyone, but they're getting pretty strong. And I am a little worried about that. So, um, yeah, something to keep an eye on, something to maybe prepare to repel. We also might want to just go through Verona just to get to... Um, Venice quicker. Naples has got consumption. Well, not much I can do about that. Um, and no, not in Taranto. We're building in Reggio. We were going to build a Carnival Grounds. There you go. That's a lot of our money spent. Yeah, we can't even upgrade anything else higher just yet. Uh, one more turn, though, and then we get um, Physicians, which will really help with um, sanitation, which is clearly being a problem in multiple cities at the moment. Uh, we could actually upgrade our Catholic... Monastery might do it. I don't I don't know if religion's really being an issue here. No, it's not. It's, it's going way in our favor at the moment. Um, let's look if we can upgrade some more stuff in the... Yeah, actually, we could put a Catholic monastery into Rhodes, which actually would be better because we are needing to convert Rhodes uh, to Catholicism to just keep them happy um, and get... Well, get them on side. So there you go. We'll do that. Uh, you can go to like there. That, that's fine. 
They should take a couple more turns. This guy is losing integrity, actually, at the moment. Uh, it's not too bad, but we could do with having him in a battle somewhere. Um, whether we go... Oh, no, the Crusade's ended? I guess it just timed out. I never saw in the event saying, oh, it ended. It's a shame that they don't call another Crusade, um, but we could definitely have attacked the Ayubids. I presume Ayubids are still number one in the world. No, they're not. They're number three. Oh, I'm number two now. Okay. Who's number one in the world? Do we not know? We do not know them. Um, England's fourth, which kind of makes sense. Austria is fifth in the world. Okay, I presume that it's... and It's not the Almohads. They're usually fairly high up. And they usually have strong games. I presume then it's going to be someone like France. No, France is dead. Oh, yeah. England took them out. Wow. Okay. I don't know. Someone over here in the Eastern maybe is like number one. Um, maybe the Mongols? If the Mongols have arrived? I don't think they have, but I'm not sure. I'm up to eight grand though. Look at that. Oh, boy. Um, we are just going to take the dipl diplomatic hit. And we're just going to go straight on through into some land territories. I'm sorry, Verona. You're not here to complain. Your army's not here anyway. Um, let's just... Can we force march across there? We could. Uh, the just conquerors, I think I'll leave. The right hands... Hmm. Let's try it. Yeah, okay, there you go. I don't think Milan will come across into Verona's territory and challenge us, but we'll see. And then let's send this army as well. Um... Can Bologna take it? Bologna actually can't take it, so we will move you back to there. We also now have made peace uh, in... Well, temporarily we made peace. I'm going to move back down to Jerusalem because uh, they're not happy there. We also could do with converting this territory, really. And we are building another monastery here that we're just going to do damage to tax. We could really do with actually putting in a silver mine next turn to try and up the, uh, the economy in that part of the world. So we'll end the turn and we'll see what happens. Next turn, we strike for Milan. And then we need to really turn around and deal with Verona. Ah, they did come for me. Oh, okay. Look at that. Famous last words, eh? Oh, Vl Milan won't come for me. Oh, my gosh. They have huge stacks. Right. Um, run away. Retreat, men. Retreat. I oh, he can get me. All right. Um, this is going to be a tough one. That is for sure. Uh, his second army does have some cav. Hmm. Alright, if we can win this one, then we've done very, very well. Uh, we need to take out things like generals early. Oh, this company of Caraccio. Oh, it's 67 men. It's a tiny little unit. Never seen that before. Is that a unique unit for Milan? Or is it just because they've got the Caraccio standard yeah. they can recruit this? Uh, but anyway, we're going to fight this. Uh, our army is well and truly chevroned up. I'd like to have one more cav unit, ideally. We should probably not have crossed without our second army. I didn't think Milan would have two with having just the one army, like the one city. But yeah, they got a lot of lights. Um, I think, yeah, the Spadaccini Cumulani. Uh, these are actually their mediums, but they got a lot of lights. Um, our spears are relatively better, I think, than theirs, but we'll see. We'll see on the battlefield uh, what happens. But yeah, this is probably by far and away our biggest battle yet. It's going to take a little bit of brain power to work out how we're going to win this one, that is for sure. Um, but yeah, I am intrigued to see how it goes I, if the ai just goes in one army at a time we've got a good chance if they wait for both uh their armies like to sort of unite up it could be a little bit of a problem we'll see um this is mariano um he has actually got command of our best army here i think probably at this point uh, but mariano is um our adopted son um so he actually kind of is the future of the dynasty at the moment though someone was saying uh, in the comments to get him killed off so uh i i mean i, m I might be doing that anyway uh, I was going to probably try and kill him off at some point if uh, we could get ourselves an heir. But um, it does seem as though uh, we might be doing it unintentionally here. <laughs> Potentially. We'll see. Mariano might be fine. He might he might pull through. We'll see. He's uh, a fairly decent general. But anyway, I think we'll go with uh, our swords in the centre. We've got a lot of crossbows, actually. A lot of ranged. Uh, which I'm... I, I would... Ideally, like one less. Um, actually, I'll put all my swords, I think, in the front line. I'll just keep the heavies and the mediums mixed together. And then we'll go spears on the flank. Um, which just kind of probably raise a question to some people, like, why are you putting spears on the flank, Pope? But I want them there to support my cav. Uh, my cav is 
obviously going to be very, very important in today's game. Uh, I think we'll go like so. I will put Mariano on the flank, but I'm not going to put him like up there with the other cab unit. And we'll go something like that. Uh, these guys have literally the same stats, so it doesn't really matter where they go. Uh, I think we're good to go. I think I'm going to try and be aggressive on this first army here, see if we can get them into battle. And the AI typically is pretty dumb and pretty aggressive with generals. Um, but we'll see. Yeah, balance power is now shifting out of our favor as the numbers just start to rack up here. This is about even on uh, the campaign map. Might not be the case coming into uh, this, though. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to catch the two armies, uh, to be honest. Well, like, I think they're going to unite up, I think, is what's going to happen here. I think... Looking at it, the um, both armies are like spawning, um, like one behind the other. I don't think one's coming behind me, which is probably pretty good actually. That's probably ideal. I think otherwise that would make it a lot more t difficult. Uh, just run. <laughs> we have no time, no time for dawdling. Yeah, here we go. You can start to see their army. Light shark, like the army. You can deal with this cav, that's for sure. That's easy. Um, yeah, their other army is on the way. Oh, it's fatigued. Oh, no, no. Second wind to get rid of fatigue. Oh, yeah, they're all very tired. Uh, so am I, though. That is going to be a problem. I don't know if we can actually get out of that either. Because he's force marched. I force marched. Um, this guy's fresh. That could be our only problem, actually, coming into this battle. Is actually could be fatigue. Because uh, my cow, I think, is now just going to be stuck on very tired at best the entire battle. I don't think we can get any better off than that. Anyway, keep marching forward. We can see whether we can deal with these guys. What does this cab on this side? More, more uh, like light shock. They have one heavy shock here. Other, other than the, their generals, of course. The soul Grinner as well. It's German cab. Ugh. What's German cab doing here in Italy? They have got actually brought um, pole arms. That's something that I can't counter, but hopefully my crossbows can. But well, I can't counter with spears and stuff. But I can with my crossbows. Uh, may be able to get these archers if they keep coming forward. If they're silly enough to keep coming forward, we'll get them. Alright, keep pushing forward. We'll just be super aggressive. Get in their face. Try and not allow the AI to set up both armies. Because if it sets up both, then we're in a bit of trouble. Oh, here we go. The company of Caraccio. That's cool. Look at these guys. And the banner will be somewhere. Which I imagine it gives a load of morale buffs. So we want to try and take it out. They look kind of cool. I mean, it's nothing like insane. It's just like, it does look kind of cool. There is the banner itself. Um, yeah, I don't know what it actually does. Uh, good health, poor damage. Oh, is this it? Yeah, it just it gives you an encourage. Just about it. Morale is pretty high for it. Um, I don't know if that would be the case if I run it down. Uh, but we'll see. Yeah, see if we can get this cab to just be trying and catch some of these archers. Yeah, they are going to just try and pull back. Cowards! Go on, cavalry. I mean, even if my cav uh, catches theirs, uh, catches their archers, and we get charged by cavalry, we should be okay. Right, yeah, he's going he's gonna to run now. I think we can get him. We should close the gap. Yeah, this one's going to stand his ground. Mm, maybe not now. Maybe not now. Uh, he's kind of got back. Ah, oh, you coward shooting at me when i am got my back turned. All right. See, that might bait him back in. Oh. All right, Mariana, you might be needed here. Earlier than expected. Uh, right. What are these? Light shock? Yeah, we can deal with that. Give me that charge. I'll take that any day. And let's back that up with a spear promptly. There, there you go. That's a pretty easy win. We'll take those any day of the week. There's a general that's baiting himself way out, though, actually, as well. We could definitely deal with taking him out. And this is also a general here as well. Um, the cab's going to pull out. AI loves to do that. So I'll let him do that. Uh, let's actually turn some of these crossbows. I'm also going to put them out of loose formation. I can't stand it. Can't stand it. Start to turn. Uh, you're going to need to come across here, aren't you? Um, spears, just stand there. Can wait. Double time. 
Let's see if we can catch him with the spears. And we'll try and back him up here. And the spears might take a pretty nasty hit there, actually. Uh, maybe not. Oh, yeah, the spears did take a pretty nasty hit. See if we can pull my cav out and try and free them up for something else. The cav over here, I think, also can be freed up. Uh, crossbows, let's shift you across. They just recharge their own men. Cav. Yeah, we can take that. That's nice. That's nice. The general is pretty much, I think, screwed. He's tied down there. Um, my gen can do with, ideally, I think, getting out as well. I'm also going to shift the other spears down. We might as well shift the sword line down as well. Looks like uh, Milan wants to fight in this weird part of the world. There you go. Spears winning that fight there against the general nicely. Uh, start to shoot that general. Let's see if we can catch him on a charge here as he tries to pull out. He's exhausted. I am merely very tired. There you go. This might be a dead general here. Very early on. Very nice. Uh, shoot that. That light cab. The spears aren't going to catch him. So we'll let the, uh, the light. Oh, maybe not. Oh, that is first. No, no, no. We actually will get him. Okay. Cool. We'll take that. Uh, my other cab needs to come across. And then let's get Mariano out of that fight as well. There you go. Enemy general dead. Light shock. Nice. Don't think we'll have any issues here, but we'll see. There you go. Nice, nice, nice. We're winning these fights with the cab. Uh, can you just shoot that cab as it runs away, please? Soldritter. Dealt with. Okay, cab, run away. Or not. Uh, that's a tough one. Tough one. Uh, Spears just rejoin. We don't want to get overextended. Uh, Mariano, keep coming down. Sorry. Very confusing, I know. Uh, Balastarie, all just stand in front of here and just prepare to shoot stuff. They still have one general out there, which is a little bit annoying. Oh, what are they throwing in here? There you go. We'll take that charge quite nicely. In you go. That cab is starting to get peppered now. Just retreat. Retreat. And then my other cab. Where are we going to put you? Either side, to be honest. I think I'll keep it all on this left flank for now. Um, and I might just let crossbows contend with these archers. Uh, I don't know if I really want to go in with the... Oh, God. Pull back. Pull back. <laughs> My general is getting far too excited now. All right. Now we need to send in the cab. Mariano, you need to stay in there, pal. Just for the moment. You're losing far too much cab. Right, and then fullback Spears. We will find a job for you in a moment. There you go, Mariano, get back. And I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Uh, Cross was here, fullback. Let's put you on the flank for now. Oh, they can arc, though, so we might want to put them uh, elsewhere. Cavils retreat. Um... I think, yeah, we should be okay. This company of Caraccio as a command unit is really throwing me off, I won't lie. Uh, crossbow retreat. The swords are all going to come in here. I think we'll just form a shield wall and we'll just let them run against us. Have here a treat. Uh, and we'll mass up for one big charge in a moment, I think. Ah, crossbows, get back. Get back, get back. Just get back. Come on. Run away, run away. Yes. Yeah, she's taking casualties. Run away. Um, see, this actually would be a very good flank to go for. Crossbows, not so much, but the archers we could definitely do a lot of damage to. That's the thing. Uh, spears here, you're going to have to go into the front lines. Hold that line. Crossbows. Retreat. There you go. Crossbows, please, get back. You suicidal med. Um, and these spears might be able to actually flank on in. You just start shooting stuff out there. Um, and start shooting the... Yeah. And that's all because of them. The crossbows should not have died there. Alright. 
cab just go in. We're just gonna we're gonna just romp these guys. Mariano follow. We're just gonna romp down that left flank. Just being passive is not working. Right, go into the Caraccio standard. Finish him off. Right, spear, uh, swords might take a bit of a suffering here, but we'll see. And we'll start shooting into the flank, actually, these guys here. Let's keep an eye on the Cavs, because the Cavs where we're going to win. Yep, Cross was now to run away. Does he die? I don't know if that even dies. The Karachi standard might be pretty hard to kill off, actually. The company. Yeah, they're not even dying to a Cav charge. I know it's a spear unit, but... It's still... It's still being charged by Cav. It's a tiny unit as well, so it really shouldn't... Take much. Oh, where's my other Cav? Oh, there. Yeah, that's this Cav's pretty much got itself killed on that Karachi sound. Insane. That's actually kind of crazy. All right, um, charge into others. Crossbows hit. Um, my crossbows just start shooting the flank. Okay, yeah, we should be okay now. We can wrap these guys up. Same with you. Same with you. Right. Start to kill these. Guys, so we don't want to overextend, and the cab definitely does not want to get caught. The, enemy to admit defeat. And the general's charging to the back of his own men, that's fine. Right, we should be okay, I think, dealing with a lot of this uh, crossbow shenanigans. A cab might die, though. We look like we're okay. We're turning this around. A good rear charge somewhere would be very ideal. If we can deal with all these crossbows also would be ideal. Right, there we go. General Mariano is dealt with him. We could just go and turn around and deal with that one, I guess. Oh, the spears are not looking so healthy, though. Um, right, start to shoot that general. Start to shoot that general. Kill him. Not ideal. I don't even know how. General, come up here. We're going to have to do a rear charge or something into the back of these guys just to try and really make them suffer. There you go. That might help. There we go. Decent charge. Not the best, but it's a decent one. Cav his was just being left un, like unhurt. Uh, okay, so let's see if you can chase them down. There you go. We're making business. Yeah, that general's just getting absolutely rinsed. A crossbow spears. Yeah, that's, it's just what was he doing? What AI is a bit dumb, you know. It just pulled through its own like defense. I think that's going to cost him the game. We should just run these Milanese down now. There you go. Should be lives. easy enough, I think. Don't know if that general actually is dead, so we'll send Mariano after them. Let's do a recharge there. Uh, crossbows. No, 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 no. You go there. That's fine. I didn't mean to charge those halberds, but it just happened. There you go. Just shoot them. And there you go. That's a mass route, really. Just like that. That is how you win that game, fellas. AI was just not very smart. And there you go. It's a glorious victory for us, really. Oh, God. I did not realize you charged me. Maybe we're going to need the Mariano over here. Cavils will return. We'll just have the little cab charge them down. Spears chase on. We're just going to kill as many of these guys as possible. As they run for their lives. There you go. Just keep chasing, fellas. Just keep chasing. Yeah, Cav. Recharge. Oh, the banner's not even made it to the battlefield. That's hilarious. Right, come on, Cav. Revive. There you go. War cry as well while you're at it. I wonder if because they're near the banner. Like, brother, they're not even that near it, to be honest. Right, keep that. That's nice. Go in there. Right, cool. That should be fine. My other cab. Can you get a move on? Get over here. All right, there you go. The yeah. I mean, my army's running down some of these retreating boys. That'll help. 
get some free uh, Chevrons as well while they're there, while they're at it. Uh, oh, did my cab break? I think it just did. My cab, which had like ten guys left, broke. I mean, that's fair enough. Hopefully, they come back. They have gold Chevrons. I'd ideally like that. Um, the Chevys. Right, if you're gonna charge forward, archers. I will come and get you. My cab is so tired. These guys are all fresh. They probably actually outpace me. Keep coming, Cav. Keep coming. Oh, crossbows. Careful. Seriously, you're just going to do this? Alright, come on. Fast forward. <laughs> just get on with this. Uh, shall we find someone to go after? Uh, let's go and get... Oh, they might just master out. There you go. That's also fine. We'll end the battle. A decisive victory? I'm not so sure about that. I feel like it's kind of a close one. Uh, certainly once... I don't know. Once we killed all their generals, I guess it was okay. But the cav has still kind of caused a bit of problem for us. Even though they brought a lot of lights, they actually like did do a bit of damage. Especially when I try to pull units out. My infantry, though, is in pretty much intact. I might return to Venice just for temporarily. And then uh, and make another go at Milan in a couple of turns time. But we'll see. Uh, we'll see about that. But yeah, that was a pretty good battle. Stefano Berberini will not be trying that again. There we go. Uh, we'll take the replenishment as well because, well, they're fellow Italians, so they'll fight for they'll fight for us, I'm sure. And um, also, we just need to replenish some of those weakened cav units as well. Um, yeah. Um, but yeah, we'll uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, it looks like I don't know. Empire of Trebizond not doing anything exciting. Jerusalem's still alive somehow. Those of Dracoy. Those. I don't know if these guys are going to uh, become like the Golden Horde or the Ilkhanate in this game. It'll be kind of cool. I've never seen the Mongols like succeed very well, even with their all their events. Oh, and there you go. Austria's at war with someone else instead. Good for us. Ready Bohemia's for here. Um, okay, so I think actually we could probably try and beat these Milanese armies in detail. See if we can do it. He retreats to Milan. Advance. Make haste, make uh, if we go around and then the hit him this way, then yeah, forces him back into Verona's territory, and then we could besiege. I'll give it a go. This could be risky because we could lose his cabin here. Like but we'll siege him down. See whether this Besieging works. We could actually have attacked this army out here, baited them. Uh, that actually, might have been a better move. I uh, might pull out that. A battle, all that siege then, and do exactly that. Um, we can put in a physician and other things like that. We're still making bank at the moment, which is good. Uh, we can attack this other army now as well. With our slightly weakened one, we'll just order resolve that one. There you go. An easy kill. That's one less uh, Milanese army that's going to be able to go back and support their capital. We'll just send you back to Bologna. Commander. Keep that happy, and then we'll put in um, replenishment and I don't know morale, I guess as well. Just of the army, that's pretty handy. Morale is always key, and then yeah, I kind of want cab for the army. That's all. Uh, Derichium is diseased, but it does also need our garrison. That's now minus six. It's a little bit better off. Uh, public order, mm, actually. I would love to put this in to help with the economy, but not really at the moment with Dear Chim in uh, pretty bad straits. Plus 17, what is it going to be if we take you out? Minus 3. Oh, yeah, this is... We can send this guy back towards uh, back towards Italy for now, I think. His roads and candy, I think, are going to be supplied quite happily that way. Uh, we'll put in a position to try and help with, uh, ma with sanitation here in Candia. Try and keep that healthy and population looking good. I think we're just going to have a whole bunch of uh, upgrades for, yeah, for the little prosiums. Just going to do damage to the economy if we upgrade them all. I don't know if I want to upgrade every single one. I'll put one into Venice because uh, I could definitely do with having one split. Also probably could do with having one, but 
Yeah, like, there's 100 each one. Like, recruiting a unit, almost. Um, but yeah, that's great that we got that done. We could now do with, I don't know, textile or construction costs, port, fishing wharf, spice market. I feel like we can do most of these level 3 things, but maybe I'm wrong. Um, we'll go with um, the wheelbarrow, I think, so we can improve the industry. It also only takes 9 nine turns to do. I think that's because we've got the library um, somewhere at the moment in Bologna. But that's going to change to a theatre troop. So actually, maybe ha keeping a library would actually not be a bad idea because um, it could help. So, yeah, if we went down... When is it? Uh, there, library. Get it to school? Actually, could be pretty useful to keep just to, uh, like getting research done because I mean it's down to 18 that's pretty good it's not like ideal I I mean I don't know if it's a stack we could try but yeah we could try and put one into like roads or something like that maybe make a, a school in roads um but yeah we'll see I could definitely do with upgrading a few more of these as uh, the cities to try and get them more slots um I don't really want to use the really light crossbows um I don't really know what I'm doing with that army to be honest uh, this army over here is in decent nick. Could do with maybe one more range unit. And maybe one more spear. So we'll just do like that. There you go. We've got all the spears we'll probably need for that army there. And uh, yeah, we'll just end the uh, episode here, I think. As we are besieging down Milan. So we started it with the Siege of Bologna. We'll end this episode with the Siege of Milan. Um, yeah, ideally we now have just have to take out Milan, then Verona. And then just uh, we've got Genoa and... Um, and Pisa, I think we have to take out. I don't think we have to do deal with Savoy. Um, no, no, we do. We do have to deal with Savoy. Okay. So we've got a couple more uh, nations we'll have to go to war with. Three, uh, four in total. Uh, Pisa, though, we might be able to um, just, like, attack and then uh, pacify. But we could also take uh, Sardinia, I guess, as well. But all these attacks are going to do damage to our trade. So we need to make sure our, our industry is pretty damn strong. Um, and also, we might need to take out Corsica if Genoa want to carry on the fight as well. But yeah, until next time, guys, I will see you in the next episode. I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, do leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment. If you've got any suggestions for the campaign, do let me know. And until then, bye for now.